Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make an old weathered pirate treasure map. I provided a template for you to download so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video's description or project files. Included is this beach sand, a worn piece of paper, and a shadow of palm trees. In addition, I included this treasure map. Feel free to substitute it with your own map, just make sure it's black and white. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Make the sand layer active and click on the new layer button to make a new layer above it. Click on the foreground color and type in F3D39B, then click OK. Invert the colors by clicking on this curved double arrow or by pressing X on your keyboard. Click on the foreground color and this time type in BB8D3E. Go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. Go back to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Texture folder and click on Texturizer. Choose Sandstone. 200% for scaling, 1 for relief, and bottom right for light. Go to the thumbnail of the paper layer and control click it on a PC or command click it on a Mac. This makes the shape into a selection. Click on the layer mask button to make a layer mask of the selection next to the active layer. Make the paper visible and active. Change the blend mode to linear burn. I'd like to make the dark edges a bit redder in color. To do this, click on the adjustment layer button and choose color balance. Open shadows and make cyan red 46. Click the Clip to Layer icon, which restricts the adjustment layer to effect only the paper layer and no other layers below it. Open your map document and drag it up onto the tab of your treasure map. Without releasing your cursor, drag it down onto the image and then release. Go to the layer mask and press and hold Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac as you drag a copy of the layer mask next to the map. Click off the chain link to unlink the layer mask with the map. Doing this allows us to resize and or move either the map or the layer mask independently from the other. Click on the map to make it active and change its blend mode to color burn. Open your transform tool by pressing Control or Command T. Click inside the transform to reposition the map. To resize it, go to a corner and when you see a straight double arrow, press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC or Shift and Option on a Mac and drag it in or out. When it's sized and positioned to your liking, press Enter or Return. Click off the eyeball of the sand layer to hide it. We'll make a composite snapshot of the map without the sand background by pressing Control shift alt e on a PC or Command shift option e on a Mac. We can now hide all the layers. Make the sand visible and drag it up just below the map. We'll name the map layer Map and make sure the layer is active. Let's add a little wave to the shape of the map. Go to Filter, Distort, and Wave. Experiment with these amounts for your map. For mine, I'll make the number of generators 24, the wavelength 274 and 587, the amplitude 1 and 2, and the scale 1% horizontal and 100% vertical. Make the type Sign and the undefined areas Repeat Edge Pixels. Let's angle our entire image. With the map layer still active, 
Shift click on the sand layer to highlight it as well. Open your transform tool and press Ctrl or Command 0 to see the entire transform on your screen. Go to a corner and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you drag it in a bit to reduce its size. Go to Edit, Transform and Perspective. Go to a bottom corner and drag out. Position it so it's centered in your window. Then press Enter or Return. Now fit it back onto your screen. Let's add a subtle shadow under the map. Click on the thumbnail of the sand to make the layer active. Make the foreground and background colors default to black and white. To do this, click on the black and white boxes or press D on your keyboard. Open your brush tool and choose a size of 20 pixels with a hardness of 0. Change the blend mode to linear burn and make the opacity 30%. Now brush across the bottom of the map. Make the map active and reduce its opacity to 80%. I'd like to brighten the entire image overall. Click on the adjustment layer and choose Levels. Slide the input white to the point where the histogram starts to show a huge jump. Lastly, make the palm tree shadows visible. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.